would you do this to them? I honestly don't know. I can't. Will you ever be able to come to terms with it? And she went with her boyfriend, Scott Black, who was 22. I just felt angry at everybody and everything. And I didn't want to be at school. I didn't want to be at home. I didn't want to be there in that life. Did you ever think just to send them a note, just to say you're alive, to end their anguish? I did. Contrary to all the rumours, she wasn't pregnant, she wasn't a drug addict, but she was distressed, overwhelmed by her parents' divorce and problems at school. Obviously a lot has been made that you're a child and he's an adult. Did you feel that you were making these choices yourself? Yes, I did. You were a runaway, you weren't a captive, yeah. but psychologically did you accept that maybe he had control over you? No. No. So you wanted to be there? I did. The fact that I wish I could turn back to this day and change it. Police charged this man, an alleged serial killer called Leonard Fraser, with her murder. I was stunned. But I thought it was a joke. I really did. I thought it was some sick joke. I can't put it into words, you know, like every day, wondering what they'd be doing today, you know, how they would look today. For the first four years, Natasha hid here, just 45 minutes drive from her family in Rockhampton. <laughs> the neighbours had no idea what was going on. They thought Scott, the unassuming milkman, lived here on his own. Where were you? I was sitting down there. This is where police found her. 